Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me in today's session, Adult Education Outreach Campaign, a walkthrough with Poder. To start, my name is Griselda Piedra, and I am the Community Relations Manager here at Poder. On the screen, you'll see my contact information, which will also be presented at the end of this presentation. Today's agenda, we will cover who Poder is, what is our tracking process, how do we use the adult education toolkit, and then the impact the adult education outreach campaign has had um, with our outreach as well. So who we are? Well, there is an immigrant integration center that prepares Spanish-speaking adults to seize opportunities in Chicago through comprehensive and tuition-free English, civic education, and job training programs. We follow an immigrant integration model. So aside from just the English um, proficiency levels and, and increasing that, we integrate civic engagement, digital literacy, job skills, life skills, and financial literacy. Well, there has a career pathway um, in which all of our participants go through. Now, we go through phases, so phase one all the way through phase four, but all of our participants can come in through any of these phases. Phase one is really the focus on our integrated English. Phase two, is the more advanced um, English levels, as well as a career exploration course that allows individuals to gain a customer service certification, which is great resume builder, and gives them the opportunity to move into our phase three for our industry specific job training programs. We offer banking, Latinos in finance, insurance, um, licensing and property and casualty. And then we partner with our community partner organizations who also offer industry-specific job training, um, and those become a part of our phase three. Once our participants complete this industry-specific job training, they can move on to phase four, which is the job placement, in which our career coaches are able to follow up with them, make sure that they're still working at 90, one year, two year, but most importantly, giving them the opportunity to network with alumni, additional support services, giving them access to professional development opportunities. We wanna make sure that they um, continue growing in the career pathways that they chose. How do we recruit into Poder programming? So we have several different ways that we can recruit. Social media, which is our biggest recruitment platform, Google ads and Facebook ads, as well as phone calls, texting, email. We also have an online registration portal, but as you can see highlighted in blue, the adult education outreach campaign also has become a part of our recruitment efforts. How do we track everything um, and everyone that uh, comes through and asks about our services and wants to enroll um, at Poder or is looking for other additional services? we follow this tracking process. So we start off with our recruitment channels. That's everything um, and every form that someone has to connect with Poder to ask about our services. And highlight in blue again is the adult education outreach campaign, which is that tracker um, in which we're able to receive those leads that are interested in our services. They move on to then our tracking system. We use Google Sheets um, in order to track everybody that's coming through all of these forms. And then we transition that data into our CRM, which is Salesforce. Now, after we receive our leads, we're able to do three touch points, which is also something that is a part of the adult education um, outreach campaign. We want to make sure that we're at calling, texting, and emailing, right? We want to make sure that we're engaging with our participants or potential participants at least three times. Um, and then once we're connected with them, we're able to continue on with the registration process, which is placement exam, adding them to our waiting list, and onboarding them to our classes. All of this seemed at first a little difficult to think that um, an additional um, recruitment effort and tracking system was going to um, be hard to integrate within this. But after looking at the form that we received, um, we noticed that it was an easy integration. It followed the same flow that we were doing. And so it was just a matter of adapting to it. 
For example, this is the tracker, right? We receive the information here. We just um, add who called, the date and the time, what was the response. But then right away, they transition into our Google Sheet uh, tracker, which then we're able to keep track of the rest of the contact um, that goes with um, ensuring that all of our prospective students um, are able to complete and enroll in our services. I keep referring to the adult education toolkit. Now, as you know, we were issued the opportunity to have access to a site that offers us examples in imagery, social posts, digital ads, website banners, and so on, right? It also gave us the opportunity to have access to the logos um, for this particular campaign. Now, I know at the beginning, something that we were thinking about was, well, all of the branding really does not go hand in hand with Poder's branding. So for us, that started to become a barrier um, in using the toolkit. And um, for a moment, we said, well, we can't use this. And I thought, well, a lot of work was put into putting this toolkit together for us. So why not take a look at it and see what we can gain out of it? So I turned that barrier into an opportunity, which is something that um, I would suggest that if you're struggling to see how can you utilize this toolkit with the things that you're already doing, it's just a matter of sitting down, looking at it, viewing and comparing what you do versus um, what's provided in the examples, and then seeing how can you implement it as well or take advantage of it. And how did we do that? Well, we took a look at some of the um, flyers that they had. We have our own, again, guidelines and templates that we like to follow, but I really liked the ideas of having, you know, uh, a student smiling, doing a thumbs up or doing, you know, some sort of gesture um, and really highlighting them. And so what I took from this particular um, template was, well, let me turn it into something different. Um, we're teaching English, right? And so our, our demographic um, is mostly Latino. So I really wanted to take a spin and highlight our participants. And for me, that was the, the, biggest, um, the biggest point that all of our contact and all of our social posts needs to resonate with our participants. And so we went ahead and we took some of our students and said, hey, are you interested in posing for some pictures? We were able to mimic some of the posings um, that you can find in the toolkit. And we came up with something like this. Um, we did a little Spanglish, right? Aprende the new skills. And this one is still in, in, in a working process, but it's something that I look forward to highlighting. Um, but this is just an idea of how you can integrate um, some of the things that you see in this toolkit and then make it work for your organization, your participants, your uh, marketing um, tactics, right? The other thing that I found very useful in the toolkit was there's a section for social posts and it gives you wording. So there's a lot of great um, content that's already been created for you that you can literally copy and paste and it would still work with any of your imagery that you're trying to highlight. If you need to tweak it, go right ahead. This is just a template, right? So make sure that you're making it your own. How do we do that? We've had, again, opportunities to really focus in on what I took from this um, toolkit that was offered to us was always use full face, right? And always have individuals smiling. And with that, I was able to create great imagery for our participants to look and future participants to, to look at these postings and identify with them and say, oh, that's me, I can do this. And then again, taking the wording that was provided to us. And what I did was I translated that into Spanish, but I also added the language below. You can't see it here, but it's below this section on our social media in English as well because we're not just recruiting 
um, individuals who are looking to learn English, but we also want to recruit individuals that are already um, in the process of learning English or have learned English, but need to improve upon it. So that's why we use both languages. Again, it's really going back into what was provided for you, seeing what content works for you, and then just adding it right to your work. So it's a great way of just, again, looking at everything um, in that toolkit, really taking the time. Um, it's not, it, it doesn't come right away. You need to sit down, look at everything, see what works, what will not work. And also don't be afraid to try new things. Now, you might say, well, how do I do that? How do I take this idea and create content like that? Um, and you might feel like you're not an expert. I'm not an expert as well, but I really love using Canva. Canva is a great way to create imagery using our branding guidelines, using our template, right? But it also gives us the flexibility to create content just like the samples that we see in the adult education toolkit. So I recommend using Canva. It's free. There's also a paid version. Um, but, you know, the free version gives you everything that you need as well. Now, to post um, all of your content, I use later.com. That's how I schedule my content. And I can create one post and say, well, I want to change the wording here and there, but I want to use the same imagery. You can do that and have everything scheduled for you already. Again, all of the content that was provided to us in this toolkit also serves to motivate our current student population. And so how do we get this across to all of our student population? We use ZipWhip in order to be able to text um, this, um, these amazing uh, imagery opportunities that come from looking at the toolkit and we're able to spread um, the word and the motivation through our text messages directly to our currently enrolled students as well. Now, I did mention we were going to highlight um, for their outreach, right? How is it that it impacted our um, enrollment numbers? So to start off with, in FY22 and FY23, we had um, several uh, referrals that came across from different organizations. And this includes the adult education outreach campaign. So all the leads that came from there. So in FY22, we had 312 um, referrals, right? That came enrolled participants that came from different organizations. And now in FY23, and mind you, this is only about two and a half months since we started um, FY23 for us. And we're already at 117 um, referrals that come from our different organizations, including um, the outreach campaign um, that we're mentioning today, that we're highlighting today, right? And so with that, um, and within those numbers, you can see that we had 38 leads that came through from the first um, session um, through the adult education outreach campaign. We were able to register eight individuals into our services. And with that, five really um, completed the enrollment and were able to either enroll in our services or receive additional support from our career coaches. Um, we just received the new template, right? With the new quarter um, leads. And so with just a few um, days from August 26th to September 1st, we received 22 leads registered for services, four of those leads that were able to um, you know, that we were able to connect with and said, this, this, um, this is what we're looking for and enrolled these four individuals into our services. So it's a great opportunity to really hone in and look into the leads that are coming from the adult education outreach campaign because they do um, end up becoming a part of the impact that you're doing in the community. Now, how does that correlate with our enrollment numbers? You can see, again, that we've grown these past few years, right? So in FY21, we served 1,400 people. In FY22, we served 1,500 people. And that includes the support and the awareness that we've received from um, this 
adult education um, outreach campaign as well. And then here's FY23, we're at 415 already. And again, two and a half months into um, the fiscal year, and we're already seeing an increase in recruitment, right? And enrollment in our services. And I can't stress enough the, um, just the, the, the opportunity for you to take that time to look at this toolkit and really take what you can um, so that you can enhance what you're already doing. You'll find something if you look at it. Um, and I know at first it's, it's a little daunting where you're like, well, I don't know how this is gonna fit in with my branding. How is this going to work? You'll take something, you'll, you'll learn something from what's being provided to you. And I promise it will have an impact on your recruitment, right? On how you're spreading the message. There's a lot already created for you. Um, and it will allow you to use that time that you'd be saving in creating some of this content um, to do more connection with the community, to do more posts, right? And just spread more awareness to your services. Now, how do you connect with Poder on social media or outside of social media? Here are four channels that you can connect with us. We're also on LinkedIn. You can look for, Chicago, for Poder o Prima Uno as well. But you can call or text us at our number, which is 312-226-2002. And you can also visit our website. This is a way to connect with us and look at what we're doing. How are we utilizing the toolkit? How, and, and, and see, what can you learn from there as well? What, what are the key um, takeaways that you can say, oh, I think this would be a great fit or I can mimic this? Definitely go for it. The toolkit was made for that, for you to take a look and make it your own, right? Um, now, I am more than happy to connect with you afterwards. Um, feel free to reach out. My name is Griselda Piedra. Again, I'm the Community Relations Manager at Poder. I oversee our social media, our recruitment and our enrollment process. And it's been wonderful having the opportunity to look at this content that was created and seeing how it best fits and how can we really connect with our uh, future participants and just really spread awareness of our services. And I can't stress enough of how helpful it's been. Um, since it's been implemented at the beginning of this year. So any questions, please feel free to connect with me. I'd be more than happy to schedule a Zoom or if you're in Chicago and you want to grab a cup of coffee or lunch, I'm all for it. Look forward to helping in whatever way I can. Thank you.